Hello folks, quick news about the most recent developers update from miHoYo. These are just some updates that they are planning to implement in the near future. A very big one is right here up top. They will be adding custom waypoints in your teapot. We know how long it takes to go from one end to another, especially if the salesman is somewhere far away, so being able to put down teleporters is a major quality of life. Another nice change is to choose where the daily commissions will take place. This can help you focus on certain regions even more. And given the wording here, as well as Kazuha's prologue to Inazuma, and the new characters that's been teased, we're pretty sure Inazuma is coming very soon, and that's why they're making this change in the first place. And then there's growing vegetables and flowers in the teapot. I think in the past, Mihoyo said you cannot gather from these vegetables and flower gardens, so they are most likely only going to be decorations. We're also getting a higher load limit for the teapot, so you can design more interesting locations. And the last thing they mention here is an in-game system that prevents infinite stacking of stats. Players have noticed that Sucro's Elemental Mastery buff is not affecting Kazuha's passive that increases elemental damage. So one of Sucrose's passive is to increase the elemental mastery of your team by 20% of her EM. And one of Kazuha's passive is to increase the elemental damage by 0.04% of his elemental mastery. In the simple example here, let's say Kazuha and Sucrose both have 100 elemental mastery. Sucrose's passive will increase Kazuha's EM to 120. However, Kazuha's passive that increases elemental damage will only go up by 4% and not 4.8%. So this means the extra 20 elemental mastery from Sucrose is not added, which is intentionally designed this way. But that doesn't mean having elemental mastery effects on him is bad. Equipment and abilities that increases your stats by a certain number instead of a percentage still works. So this means the 80 elemental mastery from Two Piece Wanderers is still going to be helpful. Anyways, that's the most recent update from miHoYo. I'm just giving you folks a heads up while I'm still working on the Kazuha guide. That should be finished pretty soon. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want hot updates from Genshin Impact, especially with all the new stuff from Inazuma coming very soon. Thanks for watching and have fun out there, traveler.